Hi, I'm Mohammed Miraj. I'm the lead coder slash designer for our application, the Diabetes Blood Sugar Tracker. Um, we are group number four, and the members in my group are me, Mohammed Miraj, uh, Aiden Rodriguez, and Mohammed Hami. So our application is meant for people with diabetes. And a little background about diabetes is that diabetes is a disease where it affects the, the person's pancreas, and um, the person cannot produce insulin or cannot use the insulin inside their body. And due to the pancreas not working as intended, uh, insulin isn't given or supplied when the blood sugar levels get really, really high. And if the blood sugar levels get really high, it can cause lots of damage to the person, such as uh, blindness, such as kidney failures, etc. So what diabe diabetic people have to do every day is um, track their blood sugar uh, to see if how high and how low their blood sugar is. I think the a good blood sugar range in units of millimoles per liter is around 7. So what our application does is allows the user to track their blood sugars day by day um, for two weeks at a time and it can give it, it plots the graph per week to see how well you're doing and give you give it like a visual representation. Um, it also plots out the average of the two weeks to see how well you're doing between week one and week two. So a little preview of our project if I click run here. So for example, um, you could put seven random. So I could put 6.0, 3.4, 2.1, 3.5, 3, 2, and these are just random numbers, right? So I click graph, and here it gives you the graph for each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It can give you a graph for a representation. The x-axis is days of the week, and the y-axis is the blood sugars, blood sugar levels in millimoles per liters. Right now, our application cannot, um, you can, because there's different types of units for diabetic diabetes, but we're using millimoles per liter since that's the most uh, used one in Canada. Our application does not have the feature to switch between units, which will be implemented in a later version. But um, so here's week one, and then you click next week's test to to go to week two. And here it label you can show that you're in week two when it goes here. So then here you can put a bunch of numbers as well: three, two, four, five, six, two, one, just random numbers. And then when you're done, click graph. And as you can see here. Um, there's a legend, so it says the yellow one is the week two blood sugar. So at week one, it was uh, Monday, it was three, and then you can see that from the old one, uh, at week one, Monday was 4.5. So I can see, as I guess you can see, it pl plots the uh, blood sugar for week one and week two, and then the orange line is the average of both weeks. So it adds the two days up and divides them by two, which calculates the average. Um, so far, we we only created this uh, application in MATLAB as um, MATLAB to me w was the easiest language to code this in as I knew a lot about MATLAB in, in compared to like other languages like Python, Java, C++ as those languages are a bit harder to implement like the plotting function or the or uh, getting the graphs and, and etc. Um, yeah I think our prototype will help people with diabetes because it can allow them to get a visual representation of how well they're doing in their blood sugar level and judging by the average blood sugar between week one and week two, um, they can see whether to like uh, increase their eating or increase the blood sugar in their system or decrease it. As you can see here by our in our imaginary test, um, our blood sugar levels did not get over seven, but it went almost to 2.1, which is very dangerous for people with diabetes. So if this was a person and they plotted their blood sugar level, they could see like, oh, uh, maybe on Wednesdays, maybe they're eating something different on Wednesday. They have a specific diet plan. And on Wednesdays, their blood sugar is really low. So they need to increase their sugar levels on Wednesday. And it can help uh, people with diabetes. And many. And this only helps diabetes with type 1, type 2, type 3. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for listening. Yeah. I am Mohammed Miraj. I am the lead coder slash designer for our diabetes blood sugar tracker application. We are group number four, and the members in our group is me, Mohammed Miraj, Aiden Rodriguez, and Mohammed Hami. So basically, our application is a diabetes blood sugar tracker application, as I said before. And a little background about diabetes is that diabetes is a 
uh, pancreas disease where the pancreas cannot produce or use the insulin inside the body. So when the pancreas isn't working at, like as intended, the body cannot supply insulin when the blood sugar is very high. Um, and when blood sugar is very high, it can cause many damages to your body, such as causing blindness, causing kidney failure, and other, other specific diseases. So when, you are, when you're a diabetic, you have to track your blood sugar every day to make sure that it's not too high or it's not too low. I think the average blood sugar for a diabetic person, regardless of your type 1, type 2, or type 3, um, is 7 millimoles per liter. And that's the unit we'll be using today as uh, it's the most common unit in Canada. So our application allows the user to track um, their blood sugars from Monday to Sunday uh, in a two week period. So you can do for week one and then you can do next week's week two. It plots them on a graph which allows users to uh, see how they're doing every single day. And at the end of the two weeks, it also plots the average of week one and week two to see how you're doing in a two week basis span. So let's run the application. So right here, you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it gives you the units all in millimoles per liter. We have the week one, and then we have the graph button next week test. So let's put some numbers in. You could put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then once you have all your uh, blood sugars filled in, you just click the graph button and the application graphs it automatically for you. So you can see here Monday, your blood sugar was one millimole per liter, Tuesday was two, Wednesday was three, etc. So then when you want to go to next week's test, you click this button right here, next week test. And to confirm it's on next week, this changes to week two. So then you can put in your week two test results. So let's say two, three, four, five, six, two, three, it's random numbers. And click the graph button again. And then as you can see here, there's a legend here. So week one would be the orange line. Week two would be the yellow line. And the average blood sugar would be this purple line. So in this case, um, it plots both week one and week two, as you can see here by the two lines, and then also plots the purple line plots the average of the two. So in this case, um, a user can see like on Tuesday, let's see here on Tuesday, their blood sugar was 2.5 and that's very, very low. So the user would know like, oh, I need to increase my sugar today. I need to eat more sugar that day. So it's not too low because under three is really dangerous and above seven, I believe it's really dangerous for a diabetic person. So um, an average one would be around six, six millimoles per liter. Uh, this can help the a person with any type of diabetes, type 1, type 2, or type 3, because it allows them to like monitor their blood sugar levels. As I said before, like um, for example, if you can eat, by this graph, you can see like, oh, on Monday and Tuesday, my blood sugars are really low. So it would let them to know that on Monday and Tuesday, I need to have more sugar. Um, I need to have more sugar so it isn't super, super low, and I can get it to the good range, which is about 5 and 6. Um, I also created this application on MATLAB because uh, I'm the most proficient in MATLAB. Um, I'm, I do well with other the coding languages, it's just that MATLAB was for to me was the easiest as it's the easiest to build the GU, uh, GUI um, and it's easiest to plot as the other languages require a lot more research and time and we didn't have that much time for this project. Um, other than that, uh, on the graph, you can see it plots the y-axis, which is blood sugar levels, millimoles per liter, and days of the week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening.